Welcome back to the New Zealand English course. Your phrase for today will be sweet as. That's sweet as. Which pretty much means great. So you can combine our previous word cuz with this one to form sweet as cuz. Sick. Alright, so here's the second session of Horace that was on August 6th. And it continues to be great. So enjoy everybody. You know, speaking of dark, I've been, uh, oh, wait a second. Before we start, can I tell you guys something? I faced a, a childhood fear of mine last night. Okay, so check it. Listen. Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I decided to watch, let me tell you about it. I decided to watch... Child's Play last night. You know, the movie where Chucky comes from? Mm. I was scared, let me say. When I was a boy, I watched that as a young, young lad. I was frightened for many, many years of that doll. That animated murderous killer doll. So many, so many countless nights of taking a shower and wondering if Chucky's gonna be on the other side of the curtain like in Psycho. My mom shouldn't have let me watch it, but, you know, she wasn't a very good mom, but that's okay. In the end, I decided today, well, last night, it's the night I confront my fears, and I watched Child's Play. It was actually a very good movie. I'm gonna, I gotta say, I was surprised. It, you know what? I don't think it is actually a horror movie. I think it is more of just an adult movie. You know? It has a lot of good, like, adult humor. And the, the, like, the horror isn't too bad. It's just the theme is a killer doll. So young kids are gonna be terrified of that. But as an adult, that movie's great. I highly recommend... If you guys are of the age of like 20, 20 plus, give that a shot. I mean, at least the first one. I don't know about the, the later ones. I'm going to watch Child's Play 2 probably tonight. So I'll let you know about that. I've ever seen Tremors? I love Tremors. I've seen the hell out of Tremors. Even as a kid, I thought Tremors was awesome. So I'm all on the Tremors train. Why not 19? Well, I mean, let's be real. Once you go from 19 to 20, that's immediately when Jesus flips that switch in your brain that makes it so you can, you can be a little, a little tougher, you know? Thanks, Jesus. Appreciate it, boo-boo. <laughs> God, you're right, I know. <laughs> let's do it. Don't worry, I went to college and I still don't feel like an adult. Okay. I mean, you know what, I think that's also fair because my sister went to college and I know for a fucking fact she's not an adult. So, no, you're right, that opinion of them going off to college, and then, yeah, you're right. Uh, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Who knows? So, if you think about it, if your gaming skills are up to snuff, when the, the robots rise up and shit, from like crazy AI, we could just, like, hack another robot into their robot and just, like, use our gaming skills against their robot skills and we'll just beat them. Because, you know, I, I gotta be real with you. Gaming, gaming skill cannot be replicated by AI. I know you could say, homie, but what about, like, you know, all those uh, the uh, tool-assisted runs and all that shit? Well, listen here. Fuck you. <laughs> I got no argument against that. I'm just saying, I think we need to be gaming hard. That, my point stands. Life's hard sometimes, but that's why we play Horus. No, you weren't a goopy boy. You just came back, right? Forgot. That's definitely why we play Horus, though. Horus is a, like, look at the message Horus tells us. Clean a million things and you'll become a real boy. 
That's way better than Pinocchio's message. Which is, just don't fucking smash plates and shit and you won't become a donkey. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a really low st standard to set, if you ask me. What? You don't remember the story of Pinocchio? Man. The fucking fairy godmother came on by and she's like, Yo, be a real wooden little boy, little, little wooden puppet boy. And then this freaking crazy little boy has come on by and they're like, Hey, we're gonna be human traffickers and get these kids to go over to this island and freaking become, uh, you know, tempted by sin. And I hit a goddamn guy who wasn't a zombie. And then they become a goddamn donkey. It's shit's wild. Shit's wild, man. Shit is wild. I did it. Javelin! Oh! B. Oh, I have to- all three. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, uh... Good luck! <laughs> Take two. I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. What if I mash them all at the same time? Okay. That that seems like it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. <gasps> hey, I almost got a bouncy pad. Cool. Thanks, one feeling. Also, Kenzie here again. Here's some pity bits for that rough read. Yikes, hon. Aw. You called me hon. That's a cute word. I like it when people use that word. It reminds me of the feeling of going to a diner and an, an older lady, you know, she comes up and asks like, what do you have, or what do, what do you have, hun? Or something like that, you know, in a southern accent with a southern drawl. And, you know, it just feels so welcome and invited. Ah, oh, it's the best. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Huh, rip, rip, rip Peroni. These things happen in the arcade. <gasps> Kids, look away. I'm about to do a prank. Oh, arse. <laughs> Hello. The largest of the old ladies explained the job to me. I would be drying plates. She explained that old people couldn't afford to retire anymore. So she and her friends had to take menial jobs. All of the old ladies would be throwing plates at me as quickly as they could. I just had to catch and dry them. Okay. Let's do it, you... Golden Gals. Okay.
you ever want your dishes done, I got you. I used to wash my dishes at home all the time. Mama loved it. Thanks, Sakara. BLM months. Kill the cat, guys. Don't tell my boss. Something's off with this. <sighs> I mean, we got through, but something was a little off there. Do the Mario. Oh God. Hi, Tom. Jesus. Hi, Thomas. No, okay. Thank you, Thomas. Bye. Oh, God. That was scary. That was that was literally terrifying. Mind the dwarves. Oh, God. Is out departing. <gasps> they don't like him here. Gorsh. Fair enough. You're ruining the combo? Listen, the combo was ruined as soon as I realized there's a clipping texture right here. Fuck. Fuck! when that happens. <laughs> so many people are just like, wait, what? <laughs> Video games are great, man. I could start the chain up here. And then... Oh, I can't get the perfect balance for just that, though. 
So... Or I'll just be a gamer god. That's cheating, I mean, hey, it let me do it, so is it really cheating? Mr. Silton and the others arrived and changed out of their disguises. Although Mr. Preston was moaning as apparently Mrs. Silton had only washed his and Mr. Logan's Halloween costume. Hi, Mr. Silton. Everything's online these days. Okay, that's fair. Poke. Specify memory location. I, mm, Mr. I give up. Uh, read. Print is dead. Okay. Rem. The first few albums are great, but they went a bit shit towards the end. Okay. Uh, fucking save. Don't worry, this game saves automatically. That's true. Thank God for that. Stop. Hammer time, you bitch. Tab. No thank you. I don't smoke. That's good. Tan. You'll have to go outside for that and have skin. Fair enough. Uh, friggin' bye. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here you go, boyos. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. This is one we didn't get. There was two we don't have so far, so let's see. The Scostics? pretty dope. Mom will be happy with that one too. Sick. Hello, dude. Oh. The professor was dead, but everything seemed wrong. He was old, very old, maybe 20 years older than when I'd last seen him. Mr. Silton sounded very sad when he said, how did anyone even get in here? I don't know what to do now. I suppose we'll head back to the train station. I mean, that is what you would do in this situation, I guess. Sorry you died, Professor. Goodbye. It was hard to believe the Professor was gone, although he was always suspicious of me. I was sad to think I'd never see him again. Aww. That's wholesome. Oh. Is it? Yes it is. This is the right day. Said the professor as he jabbed at a small metal box. Uh. I don't know how much time I've got to explain. He continued as a bright light began to surround everyone. Oh, Dude! not long at all. Time travel!
Thank you, Lord. Chrono Trigger Land. We had reappeared just as smoothly as we had left, but we were somewhere very different. Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan were speechless, but the professor just continued studying his box. Looking back, I suppose I was rather stupid, as I ended up chasing a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I was lost, but soon I realized I wasn't as alone as I thought. Oh. Oh god! Huh. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I couldn't Forgive me. we had time traveled, but there Fuck. was no time to sightsee. <laughs> oh god! Oh shit! Damn it, Venus! I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze. This is bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, this was really worth something. No, Venus! Alright, my sneezes are done. I would have liked to have a look around, but I had to get back to the others. They're still coming! Oh god! Leave me alone! Obelisk! The Tormentor! After literally 10 minutes of Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan saying, Whoa, and dude. The professor began to explain, time travel, if I can find the correct point in time, then I should be able to, well, make things better. I suppose it's like we're in that excellent movie, chuckled Mr. Logan. Back to the future? replied Mr. Preston. No, that excellent movie. Back to the future too? <laughs> time bandits? Time cop? Terminator? Time halt day? Groundhog Day. No, dude! Groundhog Day. It's Keanu Reeves' the adventure! The loud bleep as the professor gave it a heavy thump. This damn thing's so dependent on the maths used to calculate where the Earth is at any one point in time and space, that it's almost random where we'll end up, or even how long the time window will stay open. That last one was the shortest I've had yet. Although obviously apprehensive of our situation, I think Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan were too excited to really pay attention. But they were far less excited when I asked what his longest stay was, and the professor replied, about 15 years. I was stranded in ancient Egypt for so long. Whoa. They had me build them a steam-powered robot. You should have seen the things they had it build. Yes, wonderful <coughs> things. It was like I was the incarnate, or the modern Prometheus. Speaking of which, robot. Have a look around, see if you can find anything to make a fire. This game is so fucking cute, oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. As great as my shoes were, they weren't much use when there was nothing for them to stick to. I rolled deep into the cave, but at least I had found the professor some firewood. Now I just needed to get back to everybody else. Okay. This looks dangerous. Yeah, that's fair. I'll just go up. You know what? I'll take the, sh the short scenic route. Oh, right. There's water there. Maybe I won't. This game looks neat, too. This game is really freaking good. Let me tell you about it. Fuck. Let me tell you about it. It's super hecking wholesome. It has so many little different mini games. It reminds me of Yakuza in that regard. The story and the characters, I personally quite like them a lot. Like, do you remember Heather? At f oh god! At first she didn't like us, and then she grew to like us because we saved her, and then Mr. Silton right now, like, he's a... He's obviously a, a some kind of morally gray kind of guy. 
I'm curious as to what his tale is going to be. And now we're on a Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure out of nowhere. Shizzle's wild out here. Oh, God. I like the little sound effect it plays when we grab wood. <laughs> Honestly, 100% this game is going to deserve some kind of indie game of the year or something. 100%. Like, right now, I haven't even finished this game yet, and I think it's on par with, like, Dundertale. Everybody warmed themselves by the fire. In the orangey glow, the cave even looked a little homely. Mr. Logan was much more comfortable now that he could see his surroundings, but Mr. Preston kept saying, we're in bloody dinosaur times. The professor laughed. He pointed out that there were 65 million years between dinosaurs and the emergence of man. But that just made Mr. Preston panic about possible dinosaur ghosts. I got the feeling Mr. Logan had heard this kind of talk before, as he sighed when he said, Oh, I suppose you believe in ghosts as well now, do you? Well... Yeah, said Mr. Preston, Barry's missus says this bloke who Barry. works with her uncle reckons his brother has, fact. And with that, he began to tell the most amazing story I had ever heard. He explained how there was a man traveling through the black wall tunnel, who saw a young motorcyclist stood by a smashed up motorbike. The man stopped, so the motorcyclist told him an address, but when he got in the back of the car, he fell silent, clearly in shock. This isn't a ghost story, interrupted Mr. Logan. This is called giving someone a lift. Mr. Preston was annoyed. Mr. Logan's stupid joke had ruined his train of thought. The brother of a bloke who works with Mrs. Silton's uncle gave a young motorcyclist a lift after a crash outside the black wall tunnel. I said, just happy to be part of the conversation. Yeah, that's it, said Mr. Preston as he explained that when the man arrived at the address, the motorcyclist had vanished. He said the man, not knowing what else to do, knocked on the door of the house. Soon an old lady answered, and when the man asked her if she had a son, she burst out crying and sobbed, I did have, but he died 10 years ago today, just outside, the black, wall, tunnel. I couldn't believe my audio sensors, this was concrete proof of the afterlife, I mean, Mr. Logan did point out that the story was from a children's TV show called Grange Hill, but you can't argue with the facts. Soon. The professor had finished inputting whatever data his box needed. Robot, he said, we need to be outside for my computations to be truly accurate. Find us an exit from this platonic allegory. The cave. Find us a way out. I will try my- Oh god, it's so loud. Oh god. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Okay, I'm out. Yo, I don't know what's happening right now. Where are we going here? Like, I know it wants me to go over in that area, but how am I gonna get there? Like, I gotta be up that way. But it's trying its damnedest to keep me from jumping up there. Hmm. Chad, I'm an idiot. <sighs> Life is a little challenging. Sometimes because of the perspective that we take. This is an allegory for the human psyche, everyone. You see, if only I looked at that all with a different perspective, I would have got it through it a lot. I would have got through it a lot sooner. He pulls out his Walkman, probably listening to the Stranger Things theme song on loop. Or maybe that... Dr. Disrespect song, where he's like, 
Rule. What does he say? Something rule. So that's so good. Well, I've reversed the polarity of the. Raoul, that was it. So here we go," said the professor as the glowing light surrounded us again. This is it," said the professor as he looked around. Oh no, he gasped as his expression became far more serious. It's the wrong time. Hmm. We had appeared in another barren desert. I was beginning to think that the past was made of nothing but sand. The professor looked concerned as he examined his box. It was then that we realized we were completely surrounded. The men seemed to think I was some kind of god, or, as it turned out, some kind of sacrifice. Oh. Man. That's not good. Oh God! <laughs> Sometimes spiders come at you, and you just can't do anything about it. No! Oh God! I should have just ducked. Okay. You know, I know I could use my boys, but again, that is the dangerous thing to do. I shouldn't want to harm. I hurt myself. I shouldn't want to harm my kids just because it would make my life easier. Allegories, baby. Fuck. Allegories. <laughs> yeah. Up the fridge. Fuck. Too far. Duh. Yeah. Fuck. All right, you. Dude. All right. Uh. <laughs> Finally using my Am I being called for by somebody? I feel like somebody's at my door. It was no one, chat. Carry on. I... Either a ghost or there's a sound in this game that's making me sound like I or making it sound like I can hear something from my door and it's weird. It's freaking me out, man. Oh god! Phase three! Oh god, there's waves! Yeah! 
Oh. Hey ya. Mr. Preston took a chance to do something I'm guessing he thought was brave, shouting, catch you later, you ancient Egyptian dickweeds. This looks right. Stay here, whispered the professor, just in case. Damn, that's a big wrench. Sorry to take you on a less than excellent adventure, whispered the professor, his voice slowly weakening, but I knew he needed to see these things. I was always worried about the military possibilities, but I'm pleased to see your consciousness software is still growing. Life is a state of mind. I had no idea what he meant, but he looked so happy. Quick, That's shouted Mr. Logan Hyde. I jumped into a large cupboard with Mr. Preston who whispered something about seeing some people on the security monitor. The cupboard door was pretty thick so I couldn't really hear what was going on, but suddenly I heard Mr. Silton shout, run. When Mr. Preston eventually opened the door, we saw a large glowing light, exactly like the one from the professor's time machine. It was only then that I realized that we had reappeared just before we had left. As we walked back to the train station, Mr. Silton was truly confused. All he kept saying was, what the bloody hell happened? Time stuff happened, my dude. Nothing is too high for the daring of mortals. We storm heaven itself in our folly. Chapter 7 the professor rip that was super good man what a good mind game the doors. you the mind the doors <sighs> all right guys i think that's a good spot to uh have a quick break for pp time and then we'll come back with age of wonders okay guys this game has so much content for the price. I so agree. This is super cool. Super, super cool game. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely continue this game tomorrow as well, okay? Don't you worry. But, let's go ahead and get ready for, uh, oh, my screen's broken. Uh, I guess you can have story time uh, picture for now. Uh, thank you, Selty. I'm sorry, Kelty, whichever one you want to be. Hope you're well, Cry. Haven't been able to catch the streams lately since I've been real busy with work in college. Hey, as long as you're having a good time, nonetheless, you're Gucci. Which in American is, uh, A-OK. -okay. Also, Shawnee. Uh, and Akavali. Thank you. Alright. So. Let me go ahead. We'll put on two jingles. And then we'll come back, okay? Actually... No, yeah, two two should be enough time. I'm sure, probably. I just gotta make tweets and all that stuff too. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll get there. We'll be fine. We'll we'll feel it out. Hmm. All right, everybody. Let's cut it. Shit. That's super cool, man. <laughs> <laughs>